Hi guys, this is Brian McLaughlin with LearnToGrapple.com. We're going to be covering the S-mount armbar. So I begin in my traditional mount. The first thing I know I need is I need my thighs underneath his triceps here because I don't want his elbows to come to the ground. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cross side grip inside Hassan's arm just like I would from an arm bar from the guard. What I think about are the elbows and the chest. My elbow in the center of his chest, his elbow in the center of mine. This is just going to make it more difficult for him to pull his elbow back. It's also going to just make his life a little miserable with having uh, my arm right in the center where he's trying to breathe. I like to post my hand out and I kind of curl my toe. This gives me a point to drive off. I'm going to put my left knee to my left hand, driving off my leg. Now at this point, I don't want to create space and any space I do create, I want to cut off. I'm going to kick this leg underneath Hassan's armpit, curl, curl it around so I'm into my S mount. What I want to do next, I always want to fight his defense before it happens, try to separate his arms. And when I'm here, I have to pass over the head before I fall back. The way I'm going to accomplish that is, uh, my coach used to say, listen to the knee. I'm going to put my right ear to Hassan's, to Hassan's left knee. As I tilt my body here, all my weight's going on to Hassan's torso. I'm not coming up at all as I clear. I pass over the head first, fall back second. Clamp and extend, making sure the thumb points away from the chest, that my knees are squeezed so that I'm not crushing my groin. The most common mistakes people will make, there's two common mistakes that novice grapplers will make with this. The first is stepping up the leg that goes over the head. A lot of grapplers will come here and they'll go to step the leg over. Don't, don't even worry about the defense. If, they, if you go step over here, you're not angled and you really have poor control of this elbow. He can just pull out, you know, or he can even just bridge and you'll fall off. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to step this leg up. I actually, if I'm going to step any leg up, I'd like it to be this leg. I'm going to draw the circle around his body. This brings us to the next big mistake. I even see black belts make this mistake. I have to do two things. I have to get the leg over the head and I have to fall back and extend. Order of operations is critical here though. I want to pass the leg over first before I fall back. A lot of times what will happen is people will fall back first thinking that they can just throw this over. We're always assuming we're the bigger, stronger, faster opponent. So if I give him this window where I take the weight off, he's going to sit up and I'm not, I'm not going to end up with the armor. So to correct this mistake, I'm going to make sure that my leg passes over first prior to falling back. So one more time, all together, full speed. So this was our S-mount armbar.